AI-driven 3D segmentation is truly changing the game for digital modeling. Instead of being stuck with a single fused mesh, we can now separate key parts into distinct layers, making our models much more flexible and powerful. This is especially valuable in architecture and design, where being able to break down and refine conceptual models in 3D software is essential. If you've ever tried turning images into 3D models, you'll know how frustrating it is to edit those one-piece meshes. But that's all changing. Thanks to new platforms like Hanyuan and Tripo 3D, we can finally split our models into individual layers and parts, making it much easier to adjust and perfect our designs. If you're just curious or want to do some quick tests, there are some free demo apps out there. If you go to Tencent's Hanyuan 3D Part Hugging Face page, you can read the science behind the AI model or select the demo. This one is a 3D model to 3D segmentation workflow, so you can upload your own mesh or select one of the examples below, like this nice floating island, and hit segment. And it has split out the trees, pieces of architecture, different parts of the terrain, which is all very impressive. So you can just download this and delete parts if you wanted to. Another one is a quick free image to 3D segmentation demo. This is NVIDIA's Part Packer. So upload an image, and here you can control the inference steps, quality, and CFG scale, along with other mesh settings, and then just generate. Since it is a free demo, you may need to wait until a GPU is available, and then you get a segmented mesh like this. The results are quite varied, especially for generic architectural shapes like this, as the AI struggles to determine which parts to segment. So here it is attempted to do separate faces for the facades. But if you want more control, you can check out AI 3D studios out there. They're super popular for gaming assets, but honestly, there's huge potential for architecture and design too. I'll take you through two main platforms, focusing more on the segmentation features. Let's start with Hanyuan. It's a Chinese platform by Tencent. But don't worry, you can just use Google Translate to get around this. And for a quick output, just drag and drop your images with the latest Hanyuan 3 model and it will spit out some seriously detailed 3D models. The new 3D Studio section gives you lots more features, including the powerful parts segmentation. You get a bunch of free generations every day, so you can try this out. On the left sidebar, you will see seven steps, each with its own tools. So here's a quick rundown. First, text image, basically a standard image generator, if you have no starting point. I recommend using a more advanced image generator outside of this platform and just load that in for the next step. Geometry creation. For best results, use multiple building views and remove the background. Why even a well-made single image with a plain background works great. And then for the model selection, you just need to pick the latest version, set your face count for smooth accurate models, and then this will generate depending on the server demand so the processing time varies a lot. But when generated, it will appear on the right side under assets and you can spin around your generated model. The quality is very impressive and the surfaces are very smooth and it has generated all the balconies and levels surprisingly well. You can download this directly or move on to the next step, which is the most impressive feature of all, part splitting. So this is the game changer. You can just hit the one button split and watch your model break into different floors, roofs, and other parts. In this example, it has incredibly separated all the balconies into different layers, and you can toggle these in the layers panel on the side. This takes longer than initial 3D generation, so I've sped it up to make this split. And you can see it isn't perfect, there are some overlaps, and sometimes there are parts missing like windows. But still, it's a huge leap forward, especially since most models are trained for characters and not buildings. You can also edit these later on. There is this very interesting separate mode, which explodes out all the parts, looks very cool, and you can see them better. So at the bottom, you can access the basic layer editing options. So you can split layers with these bounding boxes and then move them to where you want, or you can also select multiple layers and merge them together. Still rather limited here, so you can do that after exporting, or Tripo Studio, which I'll show you later, even lets you use a paintbrush for more precise edits. But here, if you are happy, you can just download as an FBX. I'll quickly show you the other options. Here there's retopology and texturing. 
You can adjust face count, choose triangles or quads, and slim down those dense meshes. This is still not as good as a quad V mesh in Rhino 8 or 3ds Max, so it still needs post-processing. Also careful how much you reduce the mesh, as it can reduce a lot of details. The smart UV unwrapping is built in, which is a very interesting feature and saves a ton of time. It maps to each surface. You would be careful to use this once the typology of the mesh is greatly improved. Otherwise, it is unoptimized like this. And finally, you can add textures using your original image or reference. But this is not too useful for architecture, as you're better off adding high quality building materials in your 3D software. And to note these extra features, such as character rigging and animation, is probably not very useful. I have tested this on other architectural images, and results for segmentation are all very impressive. My main comment would be that for buildings, we'd want to have more control over segmenting levels and windows, for example, which the models struggle to do, and also we can't specify how we want to segment. But in this example, it still has done a stunning job separating out the organic structure from the bottom levels. And with these models, you can bring them into your favorite modeling software, such as Rhino 8, to retopologize, and even run scripts to move the geometries onto different levels. From here, you are free to continue to create a form-finding process, as you don't need to waste time on cutting and splitting. I'll do a separate video on this in more detail, so keep a lookout for that. Tripo 3D Studio. If you want a bit more control and everything in English, this is a great option. They offer free credits and trials, and the workflow is quite similar in many aspects of Hanyuan. However, Tripo's editing features allow more control, especially for segmentation and retopologizing. In the first step, set to Build and Refine tab, and then it is a similar process of just dragging and dropping an image. Here you can generate parts and retopologize in later steps for more control, so you can leave these options out for now. There are a lot of details picked up here, but the mesh is very dense. In the Overview tab, it will give you a prompt and some stats. But the part we want to look at is the segmentation with all its brush editing features. Just hit the Start Segmenting button, and once your model is generated, you'll get these all out in the Layers tab. But you can see that some of these layers are incredibly jagged and not very clean. So these can be fixed with three awesome editing tools. The first is the Brush tool. You can select a layer, then add or remove areas for fine tuning. This is quite useful for matching parts although it can take some time to get all the areas and corners. The next is the Merge tool. Once again, just select layers that you want to be joined together and hit Merge. You will also need to hit the Save button here, and that's why it will add it to the history, and you can revert back to previous versions if need be. If I pull out certain parts, you see that there are these holes, and it's very incomplete. There is the Smart Part Completion tool, which is very handy, and it tries to clean up jagged edges and fill gaps automatically. You can try out on individual parts, or then you can select all the layers and hit Apply to All, and you have a much better model. Triper also lets you optimize parts individually, so you can lower poly counts in areas that don't need much details, and this allows much more fine-tuning. And the topology is much cleaner than the Honeyrun's model, but still far from perfect. So you can vary this for each part, and once happy, just save. And then you have the texture tab, which in the same way, you can take your input image and then base a texture generation on that, but maybe we don't need this. And likewise, for the rigging tools, you can skip this for architectural elements. There is, at the end to note, a very interesting stylization tab, which you could voxelize your models, for example, perhaps useful for simple analysis or massing. There's also these Voronoi's and Lego styles, which are quite fun, but not much use to us. It would be interesting if we could train our own styles to apply to our models. So that's a quick overview over two AI studios. So is AI 3D segmentation ready for prime time in architecture? Not quite, but it's getting there fast. And there's real opportunity for someone to build an AI 3D studio just for architecture, with smarter generation, segmentation, and building understanding. But for now, Hanyuan and Tripo seem to be leading the way. I'll keep you posted as these things evolve.